Okay, let us pause the discussion. Let us pause the discussion. What is the case all about? What is the case all about? Let's start from there. What is the case all about? It's um, Professor Graham using case teaching method in his class. Thank you. Anyone who has seen a different The case is about the uh, uh, prof uh, chess using uh, quantitative, I mean, sorry, uh, teaching quantitative analysis and operation management uh, class. Okay, it is about who are the characters in the case? His hand was up. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I think it's more about challenges of using case methods. The challenges of using case method. Who are the characters we are talking about? The characters are the, 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 the Charles and the, the, the class. So, in other words, we are putting this case within a classroom situation. We have a professor and we have students. But one of the students is standing out. Who's that student? Janet Makomba. So this is a dialogue between Janet and... So, what is the situation confronting Professor Graham at the end of the class? What is the situation confronting him? I mean, he was using the case for the first time. Hello? Well, I want a clarification. From what I read, was he actually using this method for the first time? Because if you check the paragraph 2, line 2, he said he had developed a sincere commitment to the case discussion teaching method and philosophy. So I'm not convinced if he's using the case method. I just want, I don't know. From what so I for read, today, we are saying, we are bringing you to the case. So Professor Graham went for a seminar. They introduced him to how to use a case method. Its advantages, you get excited about it, right? This is what we are encountering today. And so he decides that he needs to use the method. So what is the issue confronting him? Yes, I think the issue confronting him mm. actually is the fact that he spent over an hour discussing this case in class. The students have spent over an hour discussing this case. However, none of them have actually gotten the right theory, the right answer. Mm -hmm. And he's feeling a bit disappointed that despite the discussion, he might have to revert to the old order of lecturing and teaching them, you know, giving them the answer because they have not within themselves been able to arrive at the correct uh, okay. analysis. So for, for her, she has seen it was a dilemma of them not understanding the case and he doesn't know how to move forward when he has prepared to use that particular method. Anyone who has seen something different? I think it might have been the way Professor Graham presented the case to the class. The, the manner in which the case was given to the class must admit them to miss the critical points that he wanted them to look at in the case. So you imagine it, he presented it in a way that they do not even understand what they are supposed to do. Anyone else? I think that uh, Charles, you know, finds himself in a situation of, you know, he's, he's frustrated that his approach to teaching is not working. So there was also an element of frustration what else emerges from this case? I assume that he did not really have uh, 
a good understanding of how to handle a case study or a case teaching method. And it he underestimated or he didn't understand the level of background experience to know that what he had given them, either they will be able to see the point readily from the case or not. He did not take into account their background and their ability. Thank you. So it was only one of the students. Out of how many students were in that class? 80. And only one got it right. Right? So let's now to tackle the next question. That conversation between Professor Graham and Janet, in your, in your opinion, was it handled well in your judgment? Yeah. Yes, I think um, he handled it well because she, she had come with a yes and no answer. But he, he was probing. He helped her to better explain her analysis, how exactly she went about it, the inferences she could draw from it, which would, and then decisions that could be taken as a result of the analysis. So his probing um, questions helped to help her divulge more information which helps the class well i i also feel he handled it well he was actually probing he came with a probing question and the way he did it he helped janet to overcome his her timidity it was like she was afraid and the what the way he was probing and the, asking question help Yes, he, he helped her to come out of the fear to be able to talk well. So I think he did well. Yes. I also think uh, he did well by, uh, you know, giving Janet confidence that is required for other students to learn through her. Yes, I also believe that he did well for the fact that he did not run down the others. You know, he did not show the fact, even though I was impressed that Jeanette got the answer right, but he didn't go up and say, okay, yeah, you know, she's the only good one. All of you guys have been talking rubbish. She just got it right now. He was amazed, he was impressed, but he didn't show it. And he didn't run down the other colleagues. Well, I don't think he did, he did well. I can point at areas where there was a time the student that was actually, as you was taking her back. Then there was a time when she was uncomfortable with the, with the questioning that she was ready to stop answering the questions. So in that way the method he used he didn't do well. So we have at least one who thinks it wasn't handled well. Let's listen to her. I think um, he did well during the questioning time because uh, we could see that there was a time when um, a side comment, a kind of a negative side comment came from the class. And um, uh, Professor Graham showed it or protected her. Ah, I think he did well. Yeah, I, I feel he, did, he didn't do well uh, for two reasons. Number one, the, his question in style actually embarrassed the, the student. Number two, the class left without knowing the answer. So they were confused. So it didn't do it well. OK, this one, yes. How many people say he handled the questioning and response session very well? Can you count for me very quickly? Please check the statistics. Yeah. Yeah. The majority, the eyes have it. How many people say no? And they're sure. One, two, three. We have three. Yeah. No. How many are neutral? They don't know whether it was good. Okay. We will discover whether Professor Graham did it very well 
or did not do it very well. Because the facts are in the script that you are reading. But we shall keep flowing the discussion. Question three. What does Professor Graham see as the critical challenge facing him? What does he see as the critical challenge him? Class integration and lack of cases teaching, you know, yes. And the class, lack of class management. Okay. Yeah. The class integration, the people he's teaching, yes. I want to say the time factor because line uh, paragraph one, line two, paragraph two, second to the ninth, he kept on looking at the time. He was so conscious of the time. Um, I think the suitability of the case study um, could be questioned. I think he could have done better um, choosing a case study that would push people closer to the object, his objective for the class. It seemed as though his case study was broad and allowed people to begin to raise other issues beyond his objective. And I feel maybe his choice of case study should have been be could be better and um, allow them to better respond. So also, I, I feel uh, he did not uh, do the grouping. He failed using you know, one of the uh, feature of case uh, uh, case teaching. So that one, he had a large class, 80 people, and left them as a whole. So it's like everything was just like uh, almost messed up before somebody saved him. Virtually the entire class, 99%, not been on his side, as it were, within the span of uh, uh, that limited period of time. So it's quite frustrating for him as a person. He's frustrated, yes. I think um, it also has to do with how he structured the case for the class. He has a passion for using the case method, but he had not yet mastered how to structure the case in such a way that the students would be able to pick the critical points that he wanted them to understand. So we saw that um, that was the first time of using a case uh, study as a teaching tool. He could have, um, and uh, he didn't consider their experience, that they were not experiencing that. And so, and he didn't consider their experience one. Two, he could have used a much more simple, uh, what, case, uh, presented a very simple case. See, I like this. this. He is so that to a philosophy. How many of us have written our personal philosophies? You did it yesterday. How easy is it for you to move away from your preconceived idea of how the class is supposed to run to allow for alternatives in that moment? It is not as easy as we, yeah, as we are trying to depict it. So this case is trying to tease us out. Like when you're committed to doing things in a certain way, there are certain times where you are blind to the challenges that you are facing. Because Professor Graham was actually congratulating himself at the end of the class, right? He was happy with what happened. He just said, oh, let them go and find out for themselves. I think this case... Meanwhile, we are here saying it doesn't work for him. Now, the last question. Should Professor Graham should stop by the group gathered around Janet at the end of the class? Oh, I don't think he has any business there. I think the, the essence of this is that uh, he has stimulated the student for critical thinking. And that's exactly what they are trying to achieve by JetNet being at the center of it all. We were just discussing in here. Now, when you have um, a class and you, there are certain students that understand the concept that you are teaching, they are even better teachers for other students because they will be able to relate them at their level. We have another one who says, no, let the students deal with their own student 
issues. They appear. Anyone with a contrary view, should he have? If it didn't, that means the, the initial goal was to make sure that the student did not get the answer. Mm. Because by stopping, he's giving a body language that is interested in that response further. For people that did not cluster around, you know, it was not the entire class that clustered around. Yeah. A group of students. A group. Mm. So by seeing him joining, you know, it gives a body language that there is a merit in the last discussion between himself and the student that got the answer. Okay. So by just leaving it and saying, let them figure out the it, he didn't achieve anything in the entire class. And he has, you know, he had time against him. He had overspent his time. So left alone to me is what he should, I believe what he should have, he did was okay. The next thing is, if you have any issue, come and meet me in my office. They had, he had given them time to think. So if they have issues, they'll come. He can't stay there again. He had time against them. Yeah, yes, in my, I want to agree with what uh, I said, that he should stop by to create an impression that J, Janet, or Janet was actually, actually made sense. But he should not tell them what the answer is. Okay, the for answer. you, you say he should stop by. But he should not tell them what the answer is, so but that the, it will give them more opportunity to think, and others will make contribution to what he had said. Okay, yeah. one who says he should, okay? I think I want to say he should not stop, huh? but rather give them an opportunity for after class uh, discussion. He shouldn't have stopped. He, he was not sure of himself. I think he wanted to... He, I think he just wanted to know uh, what they thought about him. Uh, he, he was afraid, more or less. Okay. Let's spend a few minutes analyzing Janet's own behavior. What was going on with Janet in the class? What are the things that have been mentioned in the case about Janet and how she was responding to the questions? Janet is not confident in herself. So one thing she's not confident. What else? She's a brilliant student. So she was timid, but growing confidence. I just wanted to add that she had some biological factors. One, she was a girl, a woman, a lady. Two, they said she was the youngest, or at least one of the youngest in the class. So perhaps those were some of the factors that made her a bit timid and unsure of herself, you know, and subject to harassment. Because they kept saying, talk louder. What, how did you do it? How much time did you spend? Well, in my opinion, yeah. I think Despite the fact that she was timid, she was kind of confident in what she did to the point that in the face of the intimidation of the other 79, she still had the confidence to voice out what her opinions were. If not, she might as well have danced along with the group. Well, since everybody is saying it, then maybe I'm the one that is wrong. But he never allowed that to happen. I could say that uh, uh, from what we read, uh, it was a good, uh, she was a good student but had no experience. And she was not experiential. And also she was not too sure of uh, the outcome of uh, you know, the analysis. Yes, you know, at this stage she said, I don't think the professor of the class could solve the problem of the company that this, the way I got it does not seem, <laughs> so it's like no experience and was not too sure until, you know, uh, Prof, you know, helped her and, uh, you know, in the conversational, you know, approach and uh, they were able to reach a good conclusion. All right. Let's 
say that this is becoming more and more interesting in the assumptions we are making in the case. Now we are going to get part B of that story. Let's see what really happened when the students gathered around, around Janet. What was actually going on? And that is why I said we shall discover if indeed she felt as confident as we think she was, or she was feeling like she has been put on the spot by the professor. You know how you keep insisting on one person and the person keeps cringing, and you are not even aware of that process. And Professor Graham thought he was helping the others to understand, and for her she was just, he didn't even acknowledge whether what she said was correct or not. So let's read part B, it's, yeah, it's very short, and we shall carry on this conversation. Okay, we are first readers. How many of us now look at those questions again?